Hey guys, it's Nika and welcome back to my channel. So, if you have not heard, which if you saw my last video, you probably already know what this is. I am expecting... Yes, we are expecting our first child, which is very exciting. I want to actually document this pregnancy. I just have my notebook here that I have been writing. I can't talk. That I have been writing in. So yeah, I thought I would share some of the symptoms that I experienced during the first couple of weeks. So we found out on December 15th. Basically didn't tell anyone. Last week, we actually started telling people. We told our family first, which you guys can watch that. Um, it's the last video that I posted. And yeah, um, I had my first ultrasound on December 30th. Oh, and then this is kind of a newer update. We actually heard the heartbeat last week. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the gist of the pregnancy. I think I will just go over some symptoms that I experienced. Okay, so for the four to five weeks of the pregnancy, this is kind of the time that I found out. Um, so I had sore girls. <laughs> if you didn't know what I'm, you probably know what I'm talking about. I'm not gonna say it. I also had fatigue. Okay, so next two symptoms is moodiness and dizzy spells. So I experienced moodiness like all throughout the first trimester apparently. I'm sorry, Malcolm. <laughs> um, and then I also had headaches, which they were different headaches. I usually get headaches a lot but these were really different headaches. Um, and then I also had bloating, which sucks so bad. Like I was trying, that's kind of another reason why I decided to test because my pants were not fitting that well and I just felt fat and everything. <laughs> and then I had frequent trips to the bathroom. Um, and then my cravings for this first week were apples and then next I have my 6 to 11 week symptoms they're kind of the same but some of them are kind of different so these were the weeks where I legit felt I was pregnant like it was so bad I was so emotional and sick and just pregnant <laughs> so I had really strong nausea I also you know with the nausea I kind of you know threw up a bunch of times um, but it wasn't like super extreme like some women have it so I was really thankful for that but and I also had really bad gagging like it wasn't like I was trying to get attention or anything but once in a while I would be you know cooking and I would smell something and I'd be like uh, uh. during this time I also had no appetite which really sucked because you know, I was really hungry some days and some days I was just like, no, I do not want to eat anything. <laughs> and I also had really strong food aversions. I also experienced um, small jolts of discomfort in my area. <laughs> um, but I asked my doctor about it and she just said that's because, you know, the baby's growing and he or she is putting up, pushing up against some organs, so that's kind of why I got those small jolts of pain. This is kind of funny, but I had to write it down. I had pregnancy brain. And the last section that I have is 12 weeks written down. Nausea is gone, appetite is back, no more sore chest, and cravings for sweets. So during this, during the last week of the first trimester I just felt really great I felt more myself and I was actually able to clean up um, so yeah that's kind of the symptoms that I experienced during the first trimester also I had I kind of have a bump but it's not really visible um, yet but when I lay down I can feel a bump or if I push now a little bit on my tummy there's a bump but since I do have some padding <laughs> it's kind of hard to see so yeah once I actually am able to show you guys a bump I will show you guys um, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned to my next one and I will talk to you guys soon
Bye.